Residents, business owners, and even visitors to Denver have had it with crime. And the city makes its strongest pledge yet to do something about it. It comes as Colorado as a whole is drowning in massive spikes in crime. Former prosecutors George Brockler and Mitch Morrissey put together a crime report for the Common Sense Institute. Shows Colorado is number one in the nation for auto theft. Number two for property crime. Aurora has seen a 35% increase in homicides, seventh highest in the nation. Denver has seen a 23% increase. That is 12th highest. Tori Mason covering these big issues for you tonight in Denver. And Tori, Denver hopes that it has a plan to turn things around. Yes, Karen, and the mayor says things have gotten worse since the pandemic. That's why he wants to activate downtown. He says the more eyes that are out there, the more issues that'll get reported. The problem is people don't think downtown is safe enough to visit. The lunch rush downtown isn't what it used to be. Reservations went down when crime ramped up. While servers repaired windows, the city fixed its approach on safety. It's about time. Blake Street Tavern owner Chris Fusile could put the police on speed dial. A lot of restaurants are leaving to go to the suburbs, and that's a fact. And Denver has to do something to, to change the perception of downtown. Declining safety has more than current leaseholders questioning to renew. The state of downtown is pushing major events away. If they come and visit our city for a site visit and they don't feel safe, whether it's one, one's too many, um, safety should not be a concern. Now the city's pulling out all the stops from recruiting more officers to hiring more lawyers. These additional prosecutors will help us make sure we have the resources to charge more of these dangerous criminals. They want to clean up downtown while still connecting people to resources. In some areas, there'll be safety you can see. We're establishing a pop-up security operations center to provide greater visibility and address areas of need. Their improvements business owners have begged for. Fusilet says better late than never. Now it's, you know, November of 2022 and we're, we're really addressing this. This should have been addressed a long time ago. Now, the mayor says things got worse during COVID, so I asked a few people, when did things really take a turn downtown? The majority said within the last five or six years. Business owners need things to turn around, and they're hoping the city can do it. We're live in Denver. Tori Mason covering Colorado First.